So, we turn the go out in a proper reason you can break for something, isn't it? Yes. Some like me, left. Uh, well, that is the first product which is honest, isn't it? I know we may not be able to. A nice, a nice beekeeper's training should be run for at least a week. Yeah. At least a week. At least one week. So, the information that I'm bringing here, I'm really compressing it and only touching very, 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 very basic, uh, very, very, those important, very things. Eh? Ana nafaa kuelezea asali nafaa kutengeneza waje what are the commodities of yani 17 what kila kitu zote mpaka the soluble content and all that and one other few things ina shida iko sawa so twende kwa the next na asali tumesema ni inaweza kuwa tofauti kala si ndio eh na tumesema uses yake si ndio tumesema twende kwa wax si ndio how much is a kg of wax how much is a kg of wax the cheapest uh, boat is a thousand. Uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a block here? No, no, no. 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 let it pass around, eh? Sasa hiyo ni 100% from the bees eh? and na ndio Elias amekata akaweka hapo so can cut it in small strips and put it here. Tulisema inafanya nini? Utia bunyuki na kuwa track kama alipende ndio? So tunaenda ukatia hapo. Sasa. Kuna kitu kama hii? Ukiroll hiyo unaangalia kitu kama hii? Alafu tunaelekea hivi unafanya nini si ndio? Itafanya nini? Itakata tu. So ni hiyo ni kama ni ni wax. So twende kwa wax. The next product is a bee wax. Bees wax eh? Ah, uh, bees wax. Huyu amesema bwana Kelly amesema the cheapest he has ever bought was uh, uh, 1000 shillings a kilo, the cheapest. Eh, uh, it's true. That one piece you're holding is 200 shillings. <laughs> that is 200 shillings, that one. It's the five, five grams. Eh, you got moja. That one we make from our workshop. You got moja. Sasa, wax is excreted by the bees after me kula yo. I mean, you know, it's, you know it's, a, it's a product from the plants, eh? The wax itself. After wax, you know, it's a product Yeah, wax comes from the trees, from trees, most of them, most of it, eh? But now when bees make it, they usually make it in this cone form. In a puja kama hivi. And now, the wax is a binding factor. Hapo kuna mixture. Kumu zikiwa mpia kabisa. They usually what color? White. Kaa sana zinakuwa? Na zikika kabisa zinakuwa dark kabisa. So when they, are, they are, when they are white, they have a very high percentage of wax. Sasa ukiano vune mara moja, ama iki hatch, ikuwa hatched, yile comb, Ina kuwa, ina, 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 ina kuwa damage kidogo. So what bees do, bees usually repair it using propolis. And that's why it usually looks what? It's usually black. black. So why propolis ni? Ni black in color, ni dark in color. So, nige kuwa na the same amount, the, the wax, ya hii size na hii, ya hii size ya white, na ni hende ni toy wax block, I would get more wax block from the white one than mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Wax in your binding factor, ni kama si meat. Ni kama concrete. Lazima ishikanisha na smith. Hiyo ndiyo bani factor ya hizi combs. Easy wax yote. Hapa utatua almost like 60% wax ingi itakuwa. Uchafu itakuwa black. Lakini uchafu pia inatumika. Wale wanatoka Nairobi. Kafu. Enda. Utapata some small small things. Metengenezo in like kartasi. Those are around 8 shillings. Kafu hile and they have more current. Utumika kama fire starter. Siyuko ni baridi uvu. Sindio? Hata utuko na fireplace. Sindio? Sindio? watu wengine wanangana kutumia kutuma na kuwa shamoto sindio kupuliza sindio mko na sasa hiyo uchafu hile nitokanga airushawi my friend hiyo kilisho kwa moro na uwasha hivi nikama mkutata yes nito fire starters hata hini hata hini ki wala mekua na ichi ushe yuba uchoma hivi hitu inatuma kama mkutata sindio kama 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 petrol inatuma kama petrol hii so, na nataka kuonesha. Sasa, you know we have a very big factory in Kenya kutengeneza wax. That guy mwenye likona wambia is our friend. 
ali alitengeneza factory iko pale vika in 8 acres factory ya works peke yake in of that factory is 8 acres big 8 acres ya works peke yake peke yake he exports to the UK to Denmark and that works comes back here in products that some of us cannot afford mm. lipstick lip balm some very nice mafuta inakuja na kutengeneza hiyo because this is organic this is not inorganic anything that is organic is very what expensive yes unaona yes, so now how do you make this works harvesting how do you harvest it first first harvesting ni kule kukata na zile combs huwa mnaenda kurusha sometimes don't even throw them bring them home kama ziko hivi ama zile zingine kama ziko na asali ukitoa asali yao kabisa eh uh, i'm vizuri i want to be very so it's a, it's, it's a very easy process but it is confuses people very fast na ukikonfusika huwezi pata works block kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo process ukitoa kama combs zako ziko hivi so now this is very dry does not have any honey si ndio kusha kwa bucket kama umetoa ikiwa na asali kwanza weka hiyo asali hiyo combs yako kwa maji kwa bucket hivi osha osha yote si ndio osha ukiosha kabisa make sure aina any honey weka kwa nini kwa, kwa bucket uchanganya na hii ile nyingine na kai hivi si sawa in this case si lazima kama una hizi na kai hivi toa hiyo nini yako kama umeosha na maji ama chukua gunia maana gunia kama ile iko pale ama kitu kama net nzuri weke ile the reason we want we are trying to get any specks of honey from that wax si sawa ndio kia sali hapo so weka hiyo vitu yako weka kwa sufuria kasi unajua kuna maji kidogo kidogo kwa sufuria weka kwa moto kwa moto chemsha itachemshika kuangalia youtube ya youtube channel ya big keepers tv kaza angalia afterwards nimeonyesha process yote hapo ukichemsha the big keepers tv so ukichemsha eh, inakuwa kama uji uji, uji. na ukiweza tu fanya kudip eh, kidogo itakuchoma yes lakini utatoka na kitu inakaa yellow vizuri sana kwa, kwa. so what happens is now because now you simechemsha si ndio kama una, uko na wax mingi sana kwa sufuria usi don't pour all of it tumia jug unachota and then you have a bucket like this but hiyo bucket kindly prepare it with uh, like mafuta ili kukula unapaka chini the reason why unapaka ni sikilie uh, unaweza paka na ama unaweza ongeza maji kidogo chini kidogo tu na unapaka mafuta hivi alafu ile 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 mix yako na boil weka net hapa ama kichungi weka kichungi hapa juu hivi kwa kitugi hapa juu hivi Tota your mixture from the from my leg kwa sufuria unaweka hapo una press press kwa na ni okay si ndio kwa sababu unajua ya wax na ina eh, melting point ya wax ni 63 degrees celsius na pia cooling point yake ni very ina very fast yeah it's again zina shikana so unaweka una pinya itatoka tayari ukiweka hivi sasa inaanza kukataa kutoka kwa sababu itashikana pinya unaweka hapo so after umemaliza hata kama ni sufuria moja kama ni kadogo tu unaweza kutoa maji moja si ndio ukimaliza kuweka hapo sasa kama ni sufuria ndogo una kama ni wax kidogo natumia small lap buckets pia eh this is only for the purposes of demonstration kindly don't use this one <laughs> I'll with this size so ukiweka hapo sasa what is going to remain here it's going to be a wax block itakuwa block tu ya wax na ita, it is going to assume the shape of the corner and view yes hata ukitumia glass ukitumia to small by uh, to molds itatumia your wax sasa now that wax is what can fetch you 1000 shillings a kilo i we use a lot of wax as in our workshop at least 1000 kilograms every two weeks for us so the market is ready we you have how many kgs I'm going to have it tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow evening I'll have it. <laughs> yes, na muipata hiyo wax. Si Elias hata unajua Elias ana ngoma. Sasa sometimes Elias buys wax from us. Na kana wakulima hapa. Na ni ukweli. Na na sasa na. Tamtongea na hiyo. Yes to bone again. Sasa um hiyo wax ikiwa hivi this is yellow si ndio yeah. it is the cheapest 1000 now the, that friend i was telling you like 3 acres of land ameweka kitu kama mabati 
So what is usually does, you can do like a decoloration, decolorize this one. And there are two ways of decolorization. Hello, it's my science high school. One of them is using what? Sun. Radiation. Radiation, which is sun. And then you are going to deprive this wax of this color. He works in very hot. By around uh, in the next three hours, it will white. The other one is using a chemical substance like chlorine, bleaching. Eh? You can use chlorination for other organic substances that can also be used to bleach the wax. If you go evil, my friend, when it is like that, that wax, if you go a nile, you cannot fetch anything less than 2,000 shillings. Yes, just by bleaching the wax. But you can you can put that block uh, for jewel. <laughs> no, you must spread it in a very thin layer. Yeah. That's why I said it. So I said, you are going to come at three acres, you have to spread because of your wax. And a German and actually a spread. Okay. You have a very thin layer, you have to bleach by sand because that is the most. Melissa then I will bleach your German. Melissa then, you have to be able to roll it in a roll. Okay. 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 Ama ana inakuwa heated na tutamika inakuwa yote ina kusamika mahali and then they make it in very small blocks very small small blocks unajua wale wana export your buyer from from the, the other country gives yeah, you specifications, specifications. Eh? I want my, my wax in blocks of 10 10 centimeters by 20 mm-hmm. by 5 ikimesha hivyo then you panga them in a pallet vizuri unafunika unaweza kufortena yako you ship them get your money in tons <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> in euros, I love your work. Secure motor, you save a container. Come on, see, there's a choma container. Abana, Abana, sixty street in a one or more like Guinea, Cogaracas, Napoa, Racas, Sana. I don't care, I don't put a cake out of skin, the motor like Nata Gumis. I don't go, Miss. Eh, eh, please, but don't kind of works in Mbaya. So, Babu Najua. So, what do you go? Why works in you? So, so now, one of the things that you can do by value addition is bleaching the wax and selling it when it's bleached. It pays you more money for, for companies that usually do uh, make cosmetics. It's very, very huge demand in the US, in the UK, in uh, in other countries. But as, as organized farmers now, you may. Are you able to raise 20 tons? Yes, we will be. How are these? Uh, we are 200. The pure water. Yes, of what? Eh? So, and then. The market is there. I can I can assure you 100 percent this market for wax. Sasa now your wax secure with Sasa. For us, who can uh, we can make uh, one of our friends? I don't Mr. B. Mr. B. I'm going to some lip balms. And as and as they're going lip balms is a way as they're Aya, when Guinea want to take another shoe polish. Aya, now shoe polish is very easy to make. Eh? <laughs> he was a young and a white designer. Those ones that are making a floor, floors that need a wooden, wooden eh? floors. What is used to polish? Wax. wax. Which wax? Mujui. This wax. This wax that we are polish. Yes. Because it's more soluble like the wood. The whole idea is. Eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> One name is Zinga Tanatanga Upper Kenya. To the meat standards. Muzinga hile inafaa. The right way to make a beehive is make your beehives, then boil wax, dip this whole beehive in a, in a wax, mm-hmm. in boil pale. Mm-hmm. Ata shikile mbo na kwanga kwa meli, ina wanga imekua dip kwa wax. Kwa nini? The whole thing is, eh? Ita ziba, it, it ziba all, kila all shimo. Ata hiyo mbao inazaka miaka miatano. Yeah. Kama hii. Kwa sababu what makes it rot, ni kama maji meingia na alizio. Yeah. But kama imeingia wax, hakuna heni, hakuna heni breathing space. Na usume boy ni pala ndani. Iyo, iyo mbao neza kawa for long sana. That's why wata wata wana, 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 wana polish. Wana polish. Wana Ata polish. wakiangani ile frame nye meka kwa, kwa hai mtu. Sana. Ewezi ya itakawa for long sana. Forever. Eh, iyo frame meka kwa wax. So, if you get this comb, crush it, put it in a, in a small sofa here, add a little paraffin. Eh, Sijika mbao kuna panyaka hivyo. Eh, Ndaju, nona pale kujuu kwa, kwa, kwa jiko. Jiko, hile ya kitambo. My friend, you are very fine. Because the smoke is condensed. You are going to make polish. Polish, yes. Polish. 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 
The ratios. So, but uh, well, please, see how he works. Nihigani, he like all okay. He na when I say crash, he in whatever form. Mataka mani, na kwa block, eh? In works block. So you can mix it in a in a in a in a. What happens is usually stir it. Come in a in a in a in a in a boil, eh? In a melt. So nongeza mafuta kidogo. And then you know, but as uh, soon you must also there are precautions that you must take. So we need to take a motor. Now we need to get the dog. But uh, for industries, they usually use a chemical process to do all those things. But because this is very expensive, they cannot manage. They can't manage. They to use the, the other petroleum works. It's also very good for treating the skins of the yet now all those things. So yeah, you can make kiwi. You can make candles. Last week we saw. Last week he sold 600 pieces of candle molds. Where? South Sudan. I ended up with another candle. I use the wax too. Candle molds. Dogo, dogo too. They just now put in a shape. They're big. They're put in a shape. They're going. They're going to put in a different shape. You know, I didn't come with them. Candles. And uh, those are Catholics. Those of us who are Catholics. We are Catholics. Those are Catholic. Good. You like candle? No, no. I can't make a pile and belly. Here's your petroleum one. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it's true. Well, do you know why? Uh, Petrilia, um, science kidogo, science kidogo. What is hydrocarbons? You remember yeah. H, then yeah. bar, covalent bond, yeah. and then you do a C. Send you H, do a dash, is on the bond, do a C, here on hydrocarbon. So when I burn hydrocarbon, what comes out of it? Carbon plus <laughs> carbon amage, send you yeah. good carbon amage, carbon new suit, ilia black, yeah. send you. Now you are carbon dioxide. Is it good for human? Uh, no. You cannot be burning. Now soot in black. Mm. You cannot be burning soot in a church. Palembele. Mm. When you burn this, you can Google. You can do your research. When you burn this, usually purifies the hair. I'm get the impurities and na i na chomekaga to completion. In fact, the easiest way to know is. Ile ya petroleum wax in a lia. Mm. Una jo kulia? Do give chama ina? This one must to complete. Inaisha. Yes, I will send one of the candles from my from my. Uh, have you ever bought that candle? How much is it? You are Japanese, huh? Yeah, Japanese. Eh? Yeah. One cent is around the big dollar. The big one, dollar. The big one, fifty. Two fifty. Kando ile ya kawaida ni bisangapi? I was sent a candle my friend my by a friend of mine. Candle moja kutoka US tu iko na yai wax. Ilikuwa ilikuwa niki convert go hiyo time ilikuwa 5800. Although yenyewe ilikuwa na very nice packaging eh but it shows you the value of the wax that we have here. The, and we can do as many all those things when we have the time. And you can put that wax, you can put that wax, you can put wax, you can put that 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 wax, you can one thousand what auto usually do like I don't do like that. I always go hundred percent. I always know what water. Them are fifty percent of them are new. Now I don't know that me a more now auto one thousand on new. How much is that? Ten thousand. One school. Then I only get I only need uh, six schools in a month in a term in a term. How much am I making? So so spoon. And you know it is doable. You only do like by fifty percent can buy. I make the price cheaper, get very many people. And that's why they are, they are doing it. Yeah? They are like, you pull a lot of people together, yeah. very small persons. And we are going to have a lot of people who are going one million. <laughs> now those guys might be making three million every, every day. Every day, yeah. Or I'm going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people. So it works like that. Yes. So that works. And the pollen. And the pollen. Yes.
good, 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 good. Kuna swali ya wax yote? Wale kitu tunataka <laughs> yes, I think we'll make more of these trainings and uh, we depend on the But I also thank, I would also like to really thank you, you people, because you are very organized. E training is on a week more, isn't it? We are afraid to have training. Film to have a sour. How to register up or a garak. He is very good. She also has the, the zeal and the, the intention to also uh, make it work. He is a Good. That's up. Pollen is the raw material that is used to make honey. And we can give you a bee bread. Because the products in the Asia, we only have to go to number eight. We can make bee bread. Isn't it? Bee bread, ni ni you just collect that. You can make a That form. But pollen, you can make it from the chukua. You 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 ni ni you pollen. We can make a migu. Isn't it? We can make So what happens is eh? People can usually trap it and on a cooler. Na in a cooler kama food supplement. So I'm here and you're meeting that meeting in our original. I am just going to study up. They have been grown from different uh, different uh, plants. Eh? Uh, and uh, in a mix. Yeah. So people can use it as food supplement. Here in a side, sometimes it's very antibacterial. Na unajua hakuna kitu mingu anazareka kwa hindi zika kama yuko na yuko na sumo sometimes hata nyuki wakijua umespray mawe yako sometimes wana kataa kubuja yuko ehe they don't sometimes yes sometimes wana kena wana kufa wengine yuko it is very rare so what happens is the only the only thing that you can harvest pollen don't harvest when it is in bee hive you harvest it before ingia kwa nini kwa mzinga so you have this thing in pollen trap na kaibi so what happens is e let's assume in this case, <laughs> in mathematics, you don't assume. Let's assume. <laughs> assume we are not assuming. There is no assumption. Yeah, so, you don't have any hooks. So, so E entrance, eh? Ikikua hapa na hapo chini. Kwa So, so e entrance, eh? hapa na nikuja hapo chini. Kwa mfano, hivi. Entrance, tuseme yuko hapa, sindio? Nikuja niweke hook, tusumari hapa na niweke tusumari hapa. Nyuki watatoka, sindio? Utatokea mm-hmm. chini, no, hata tokea huko. Utatokea chini, kuna nafasi kidogo na watokea huko. Sinza? Mm-hmm. But when they are coming, itakuwa very hard kwa ufuzu huko huko. Sinza? Sinza? So, they are the most easily accessible way ni wapi? Mm-hmm. Hapa juu, sinza? Mm-hmm. Na wakiingia hapa sasa, watapita. Lakini wakipita pole nafanya ni? Mm-hmm. Inaanguka chini, wanapita bila pole. Sinza? Mm-hmm. Ikiangua chini, watatamuka hapa. The reason why to metengenezea ni kwa sababu wege anguka chini wakati mingine, wanaka kuhichukua tena. Mm-hmm. Wale mingine watupisha hapa. So, okay, okay. <laughs> 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 after, after around a few hours, around, you are supposed to only have a pollen four times kindly in a day, in a four hours maximum in a week, in a, in a, in a day. Because the Bible is a good and your raw material is a good and your pure and a cooler new to a year. So, you have this for a very long period of time, but you are deprived of the food. Now, you are going to have a good and a good. So, na unafaa kuset things around, hizo vitu around saa kumi. Ya wasuku, wasubui. Ya waki amuka wasubui. Because nyuki wanapenda kufanya kazi early in the morning before the pollen dries. Kwa sababu ikiwa na maji na weza bebeka haraka. Right, sindio? So, uje ikiamuka chini. After you umetosheka na masa uli wabuna. Na uutoa hii. Siku na pollen ya. Sasa, this one you now go and dry it, not under sun. Na yachukua vio vili. Jile chukio ile clear ile transparent kio moja chini nyingine juu naaka pole yako alafu unaanika mahali inakauka vile tunakaushaga a nitaka ku tunakaushaga tunataka ku nakushaka kwa jua mani kwa chini ya shade eh hivyo eh hivyo ya preservation you dry it under shade vizuri inakuwa very very after some time itakuwa itakuwa imekauka kabisa alafu inakuwa brittle kipenye hiyo inaweza toka kama powder so now you can pack it in small chupas and then you can eat it the heat. Eh, it's cool, huh? Very nice. Oh, it's a very nice test. Not like, oh, sorry, my job. <laughs> I understand. When it's cool, that's a new level. So, um, when it's cool, it's a food supplement. I think a kilo, not I think, a kilo of pollen is 2,500 shillings. Yes. Now, the job, the job, the job, the job. 
Eh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the 20 grams to 30 grams in a, in a, in a day. I'm at some less than grams. Kama kula is very strong eh? in a day. So it mean like you need around uh, 10 yeah, nice. days to harvest from one hive for you to make a kilo. So it means you have to be present as a beekeeper. As a beekeeper, we said you own the what? The project. You own the project, yes. <laughs> you own the you propellant, isn't it? A question, Yes. What is the cost of that equipment? 1,500. Only. Yes. Only. Ah, wow. What do you So as we, uh, one of us is our patron, he would like to give us an address, and uh, so before he leaves, we will give him some time so that he can also address us. Sindio? Yes. yes. So, yeah. Uh, it's not actually an address, I just wanted to say hi, good afternoon everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is John Kili, I think uh, most of you who are in the group must have seen that name. Eh? My position in this group is uh, deputy patron. Eh? We are rarely seen. We don't have a serious function, so we are not normally seen. I'm not the chairman. I'm not the secretary. I'm not the treasurer. Those are the most important people. However, uh, he had requested me that I hang around because there's going to be some election today. And uh, I have something else to do in Eldoret, and I have to go now. So I decided, let me just say hi, and uh, I ask you to allow me to go. During the election, I think... Uh, for some reason, the real officials who are going to be, you know, replaced are not here except him, the secretary and who, and the treasurer, chairman not around, uh, patron himself is not around. Now I'm also leaving, uh, so I will request that uh, in the presence of Mr. Elias, Mrs. Chumba. Now that gentleman who is on phone, I will request that he oversees this election. He is an old member. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know most of you, so um, maybe some of you are equally old in this uh, group. But uh, I've requested that gentleman to oversee this uh, this election. So please allow me to go. Um, it's been a pleasure being together. Your presentation is wonderful, and uh, <laughs> yes, we have communicated with you before. Uh, on uh, you sent me something. I don't know. I think it was a suit. Okay. Yeah. The yeah. Suit. Yes. I wanted to ask you whether you have bigger suits because the one, <laughs> the ones you are selling are very small. <laughs> Even the one I bought, like I cannot, it cannot fit me. So um, I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll talk uh, so that you make bigger ones for myself. Yes, yes. I want to be harvesting myself. Uh, now I'm using young boys to do the harvesting while I stand at a distance, which is not fair. <laughs> they can do anything. Uh, they can do anything. Yes. No, they will not do it. What you are telling us to be doing now, since I'm not close to the beehive, yes. it's so easy job. Otherwise, uh, I wish you a peaceful election, a successful one, and uh, I ask you to allow me to leave. Will you? Yes. It's been a pleasure. But I wanted to stay on and on until until you finish what you are doing, so that we start ours as you also sit and watch what we are doing. Yes. But. Uh, we are together. God bless you. Let me go. Thank you. Just to answer him, eh? we usually make suits. I don't to me a measurement. Speak about the mother and to my measurements. Upper, you can't do a tailor or copy me. Send those measurements. We will send you the suit that will fit you. But we also have an extra, extra large. We make according to, but you know what? There's what you call the, the general, like. Uh, to do in a small business in the studio. This one is the biggest one. So, thank you. So, 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 so,
na ara wakati mwingine za kuwa red kulingana na mahali nyuko ameitoa na inapatikana mostly kwa entrances ama mahali kuna nafasi yoyote kabisa where there are gaps ama mahali kuna mali any part of the bi is is uh, moving eh ndio nyuko wanaweka hapo but uh, now because we want to have the the, the, the proposals what happens is eh? On a kitu meshika ila pollen um, propolis harvester eh unakuja ngo unaweka hii nini yako bench hivi tu so ukiweka hii nyuki wametoka huko na unaona hizi kuna mashimo mm. ah kuna jamaa kwa hapa na nani mwingine tukao tumekaa na hapa wakati wa tibre we were seated here two two people he tell me alikuwa amevaa kofia ilikuwa mm. tumekaa watu wawili hapa wakati eh so, sasa walikuwa wananiambia wako na wako na wanafanyanga hivi wakienda kuvuna asali yao wanapata hawezi kunywa kifonyo kwa sababu imeshikisha nini wax hapo chini sio hapa chini imeshikisha hapa imeshikisha hapa kabisa hii imeshikana hawezi kunywa hii anakazeleka na hiyo ni pesa anaspara ndio anapata kama imeshikin imeshikanisha hapa sasa sasa what happens is eh? when we put this one here ah na nomba nakumbuka nikimwambia and a good beer should be having what a what clear board na tukasema inafunga ile clear board na nini propolis ndio si tunasema hivyo So when you usually go and replace this one in with a clear board replace it you remove the clear board you pull this one the bees because kuna gap and it is very cold and they want to seal what are they going to do they are going to seal see you you see much properly eh but i see like kitu yote was seal was seal kabisa was seal and you see it's gum like eh so kuvuna na uzuri wa hii it does not affect production ya asali ile ana affect production ya asali ni pollen pale ukivuna asali you forgo ukivuna pollen you forgo what asali for some time but ukivuna hii propolis you don't forgo what and it na za produce one time zote so nyuki wakikuja wanaziba 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 so ukienda ukitosheka ukiona that imeziba almost like 80% of it eh? you just move it you can put it in a very cold water ama in a freezer the reason why you are doing that is kwa sababu uwezi toa moja moja na ni kama gum but if you do it in a freezer ama very cold water What is going to do? Ukifanya okay na kaoka alafu kifanya hivyo? Yatoka peke yake. Wale wajui kama umechukwa na bolga, umepelea bolga, enda weka hiyo mahali tu kwa very cold water ama kwa shikisha kai ice hiyo. Naungwa, nangoka yote. Nitumelea hiyo point. Enda kwa mahali kuna ice, kama kuna bolga kwa mkono wako ama kwa nguo, enda tu shikisha hiyo mahali tu ice for like 5 minutes tu. You are hiyo 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 gum itakauka kama mawe. So utafanya nini? tangoa tu same way na hii naweka hivi unatoa alafu sasa ukitoa sasa there is a process of doing value addition hiyo sasa nayo ni complicated and i will be able to explain to you but uh, you there are two methods of um, extraction one of them you can use water the one you can use alcohol to make something called propolis tincture ama propolis syrup inanulia kwa supermarket i know ladies mmenunua kuna kadawa kadawa kana kwa kwa pharmacy and doctor you can bear me this propolis syrup na unaanga wakinunua sana kwa pharmacy mostly eh uh, inatumikanga kama mtoto wako anakoa sana ka black tu na unaanga propolis tincture 10 ml natoka how much 300 shillings only 10 ml mila 10 ml so if you are able to make a liter how much is that just a liter huh? how much 10k 3 what 10 ml ni 30000 yes so a liter of probably syrup can fetch you comfortably 3 30000 kenya shillings only packed in 100 bottles see it and the one was i think the and the and i think no come here I, uh, yeah. no go please go to pharmacy go ask i need uh, propolis ama wale watu wa bf suma na for your living na uliza propolis ni kosa ngapi hapo kuangalia tu be surprised be surprised by how much that propolis is but you see now <laughs> eh ni umeoi nunua oh this one is only 800 shillings only this yes and this one get, can get around uh, Enter around 300 grams of uh, of uh, the of the propolis. You wanna come in my Well, I'm a BF Suma or to a BF Suma um for living. Na juu hizo kampuni, sio? Na uzanga hizi inataka 
hizo products ndio wanauza hizo vitu yes swali yes now now nilikuwa nasema hiyo process ni now you use alcohol ama water we are sorry no problem interruption sorry we have held a small discussion and uh, in this era of transparency na democracy nataka to say me because there are two members who are missing out of the outgoing uh, team eh? now out of i think it's fair if you decide whether do we do the election today or we push it to another day yes now, maybe we push to another day anybody who suggest uh, we do it today no majority ni another day ndio because tuliangalia time then tukaona wale watu hawa wako ni mzuri pia wakati wa election si zote tukuwe hapa maybe during the next your next uh, presentation we will be to tell showing us how to do the vision yes yes so mimi niko na different suggestion yeah eh kwa sababu wacha nisimama hata kwa sababu wengi wetu ni tuko wapya new members majority, yeah. majority we are new mm-hmm. so tunaweza sema hii kikundi yenye walikuwa walikuwa interim committee so leo tuwa confirm waendelee na kazi mm-hmm. hiyo ni suggestion yangu waendelee na kazi kufuatana sasa na maybe nini eh, constitution tutakuja election after maybe 3 years ama 2 years hivyo so to confirm to hawa waendelee kuliko tuseme turudi tena kufanya nini election unasemaje kwa hiyo suggestion yangu yes second one you second one all for tumekubali tumekubali by the way atujui hata mwenye anataka anateuliwa anaenda kuanzia wapi you know where you are preach so that you can now after that second meeting tuna tunajua sasa tunaenda njia gani kwa sababu already mambo ya registration inaendelea so Elias umesikia hiyo eh umesemekana maoni na imekuwa secondary kwamba yes elections zifanyike lakini wale walikuwepo the office bearers the current ones ambao ni ni sisi tupewe new mandate tuendelee tu kwa mfano what do you think imesemwa hivyo so you being the secretary we not the, the thought uh, of the official because at the moment mm-hmm. you are not confirmed actually in our official accounts and the budget that we are doing mm-hmm. because all these money the board has to come from the other the government mm-hmm. of which we don't have a correct mm-hmm. so the comes to come from the other people who are other accounts to the chairman treasurer and, and the secretary yes say so that uh, any contribution that's made mm-hmm. will end direct the treasurer so, to the bank okay okay yeah. that's why the official has to to the office to confirm uh, i'm not the the elements now she has so that's suggested why we have confirmed yes. today yeah. as officially okay. our office bearers <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> confirmation comes when we have seen the the, the, the no. members yeah. so the, by our eyes and we confirm let's so arrange for another meeting and then bring them to confirm so that's a different suggestion from us to see confirm leo sindio yes Maybe we need them when they are present we confirm when they are present that is how the meeting goes maybe there are two present one is missing actually maybe the chairman maybe the chairman maybe then we ask just that one maybe for confirmation and all of all the other things that we are trying to discuss now uh maybe a office that were there maybe someone is suggesting to go out of office that is now we can to do it so otherwise kama wote wako tayari kuendelea we do the confirmation today or we wait for another day like you are suggesting yeah. Yeah. We, we want to confirm you basically the way we have seen you we know Elias you can say we are confirming you to continue to your system so we are going to come yes come to come about we want to know them they are our leaders we want to know them treasurer yes umesem umesem uko kuna mauni oh unataka oh unataka secretary i mean treasurer ni yeye 
Mrs. Chumba na Elias uh, is the secretary. <coughs> Treasurer, secretary, chairman is the one who is missing. Normally those are the the, the, the three electable people. Patron. Sisi ya pana, sisi tulwe kwa atuna election sisi ya stima. Ata musibuni penda ni tabogi tu wako. No, sisi ni watu. Atuna anga, we don't have any serious role actually. Sisi ni watu tu ya mauni mauni. Lakini wale kabisa wana run the group ni the three chairman, secretary and the treasurer. So... I think we should confirm that they have been running the group. They have been doing very well, yes. Yes, confirm. They are okay. Maybe it's the region on our exam. Thank you. Uh, last year, for you to open an account, you need a pass. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. So we 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 need it to the secretary can can cast uh, an agreement meeting. I mean minutes for this meeting. Okay. And then uh, those who are always available, just the way we registered, we can pass through this place once in a while because some of us pass there. Mm -hmm. Sign those minutes, yeah. and then they open an account. Because this meeting has taken very long time to plan, we are not sure of the next. You're right, and uh, that will allow them to open that account. I think the minimum is around twenty members. So twenty members uh, of us can volunteer to sign those minutes, right, for them to open an account, and that will already have will have validated. that they can, can continue and finish what they have started. Because to break official means the others will now have to come and start up. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. And they have done a good job so far, right? Yes. By making the registration and doing so much that some of us are not around, we are not able to, to, to sign. Mm -hmm. So that is my suggestion. You need two, two, two uh, minutes. Bus, uh, electing them, and another one uh, allowing them to close one account. Very valid uh, point. So we are still not far from your suggestion. I think we are abandoning yours. I'm not okay. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what yes. So what we are saying, let's still. Confirm today. However, you will make the minutes like uh, Sidik suggested, then uh, we ratify uh, going forward. So that is okay. Yes. yes. So there won't be any elections today, but we say it's confirmed. So you will make the minutes uh, purporting to have been contacted at the meeting, which is, I mean, it's true. We have done a meeting, even what we have just finished is a meeting about uh, elections. Then you go for signatures, you proceed to treasure with. The way it's normally done, opening an account, I'm not very conversant with that. So, again, let me go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. So, and then, Asante. yes. <laughs> that was a nice break. Senor? Yes. Yes. So, hi. To my Lisa, probably, Senor? Yes. A good of time, I'll not be able to hear my boy. Now, please, kindly, if we can, let's look for a day at least to put your summa member of the addition to send a member of types of beehives. Sindio, to send a member of beehives, Nini Sindio, let's do things that are going to talk about as an idea. Eh, it's a good types of beehives. What that is very basic knowledge from beekeeper. I don't know, uh, you need to have done all those things. Yes, Sindio. So, I will go to the same how many three products, honey. Wax properly, Sindio. Napoleon. Napoleon, Sindio. Uh, please, kindly someone Google for me how much is a kilo of venom? Kilo of venom. Like you go. Yes, uh, how much is a kilo of venom? How much is a kilo of bee venom? How much is a kilo of bee venom? Me, I'm going to see you. 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 I'm see you. I'm going to how much is a kilo of beaver? Kindly. Uh, 
How much is a kilo of bivalum? Cut it out. How much is a kilo of how much is a kg of venom? In Nigeria, around a gram of bivalum goes for around thirty thousand. A gram. Gram. Mm. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. One gram. Yeah, one gram. No, who? I'm going to Is it market value? Is that me? Is the price range I know it ranges from? We may change into dollar. Yeah, yes. Thousand eight hundred. Yes. How much? Thousand eight hundred. Thousand eight hundred. Your information is conflicting, but now I'm being the right one, eh? Ni? Ni how much? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Is that how much? Yes. So, a price of Benham. How much is that? Is it a kilo ma one ton? Per gram, eh? Per gram. Per gram. Per gram. Yeah. Sasa, a gram is four thousand eight hundred shillings, eh? Four thousand eight hundred shillings, eh? Per gram. Per gram. How much is that? Now, na ju na tenge me na ni na ile vitu na ile cost to make a pale the way you harvest and all that. But let us go to the lowest amount. How much is a kilo? How much is a kilo multiply? By a thousand. How much is that? By a thousand. Four eighty thousand. Huh? It's four hundred. Huh? Is it four hundred eighty thousand? Four point eight million. It is four point eight million. Yeah, one gram is one gram is one four four thousand eight hundred. So multiply by four point eight. Four point eight. It's okay. Yes. Four point eight million. It's four point eight million. Four point eight. How much is a kilo? Four point eight. That's why you will do this while you're So sorry, sorry. Hi, uh, hi. So please, please. Ah, I will. Well, to rule you. Well, don't be excited by money. In, uh, <laughs> 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 and the bonus I. Collect that. I will enjoy the collecting. Hi. Where to rule you? Back in the ago. That's a bit of a bonus, yo. I got no. Well, yes, but I would uh, ask a question, eh? Do you know how much per kg? Do you agree? Ni four point eight million, isn't it? Music, you mean me say ma? Ni information ambayo yuko wa Google. I don't know how true it is, but we want to 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 believe it is the truth, isn't it? Uh, Asa, let me tell you one thing. Eh? How many beehives do we have among us ourselves? Is the, this Kikundi? Secretary. Now, I'm going to go to the census. 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 I'm to the to how many are we members? Many, we are 300. 300. We are 200. Eh? 200. 200. Do you know how many? Then how many of us? How many? How many quantities of venom do we need to produce for each one? We are 100 of us. Of us. How many? Now, to come here, much as India. Certain number of one kilo. How many? What quantity of venom? Ten grams. Ten grams. Mm. Ten grams. Is it very hard to collect? We need to shoot up to ten grams. We need to collect only those two. So when we are hundred of us, to get sicker at the same, to try to open one venom, one kilo of venom, one venom, that you pay to change and you to come as members, that we support, but like when we come as musaada, it's very easy. Now I want to show you how to harvest for them. It's very easy. That is and awesome. the good thing is, I came with a machine called Venom Collector. I'm a Venom Harvester. Now you go up. Ah, yeah, good, good. That's a... You know what Venom is? Venom is a sumo and a lot of nuki. So you know what nuki is? You know what you want to do? You want to do it. 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 Colonized. Ah, good. Colonized beers, eh? Good. That's a very easy. That's a divided by two, by one ton. You only need five grams from one beer. Now, when you have Google, it's easy. You have Google. What quantity of a gram, what quantity of beer you can get from a one beer per session for harvesting? What about that? 200 to 300 grams per year. 
No, but you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you're position. That's what position, eh? But look, eh? That's a venom. Ni le mshale anyuki. No, si mshale. Iyo ni iyo ni sting. Ni le sumi anyuki. Sendi o. Na yo sumu na jo kibo injected kwa body. Ina saidi asa na apparently. Arthritis. Na pia na jo at. It is very sterile, and I know it's mostly used in the the, the medical industry. Eh, when I come here, na yo di opaya ke na kunaru na nunuaga. There's one uh, guy I know who buys uh, uh, venom. He's a, but he's a wise guy. He's a Muzungu guy. In somewhere. I know he buys. Another day I have a machine. I have a Another one in Uganda and all that. So what happens is, eh, the bad thing about venom is, you can't So we need to look for a solution. And bio, we want also to preserve our bees so that when the venom, when the bees stings that particular machine, the, the sting does not <coughs> do what? Come out. come out and you know when the thing comes out ina tokanga mpaka na the intestines ya nyuki that nyuki inafanya nini maisha ya kufa ina kupanga after very few minutes eh? so there's a machine called a venom harvesting machine that machine is eh? what happens is you usually come and place it up on belly and then you switch it on inatoa something like shock and then nyuki wanasikia hii kitu wanajua ni wanajua hii ni hii ni locally made can get uh, others that are also imported depending on the 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 on the what that you want that's a good and even in a car you can even a battery is in you the bigger shop yeah 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 this is very nicely made eh? So what happens? Hii machine ona hivi sasa. Na hii ni kio. Nikikuja nikiweka hii machine hapa na niwashe tu saa hizi hata hapa mbele hii. Alafu naweza jaribu leo kama mnaweza. Nyuki watakuja wa sting kwa hii. Wa sting wa sting wa sting wa sting. Kwa hivi sting na naona hata kama ulikuwa umevuna vuna. Eh. Wana sting wana sting wana sting wana sting wana sting hapa. Hapa. Once when they sting here you realize that uh, the sting inabakisha powder hapo. But if any, I'm going to stop going to kill you. I don't know you want to know. I don't want to scare you. Want to scare you? Oh, no, no, no. So, Mama, I'm going to go to the mom. 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 I'm going yeah, Sasa, e machine you can have them whether this it, it is works, it works. But there are also others that are also imported. And you can have picture up I think I was uh, was sending them here to South Sudan. So on the Google Maps they say nyuki. Apana iyo nyuki. Iyo nyuki. Iyo nyuki. Iyo nyuki. Iyo nyuki. Eh, ni class. I knew I told him Charlie. I'm Charlie talking. Eh. I want to so what happens is, eh? When now they stay here for some time, you just come with the gloves. Is it as white? You pull this out like this. Yes, I think I might crop for it out of the edges like this. So now I now pull like this, eh? Have you hold it like this? What you are, you are doing is you are scrapping all the the venom, eh? The venom, eh? There's a part of four grams, five grams, and two grams. When you have two grams, you get to go sana. Then you get to go sana. And then you put the sample. Yeah, then you put them in a. In a zone, for that, the one is that the whole package, the way it looks like, eh? The kujanga ikuwa na baka chupa sa kuweka na baka kila kitu yote. That's why now, and have an agreement that out of our two hundred and fifty-seven hives, two seventy-eight hives, we just need only. Five grams per bee hive. Then we give someone that job. And who know you? Ama, do you don't you think you can achieve that? Five grams. So we to another one. So we have 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 to
machine ya hapa machine iko na alias now out of those products we mentioned what is the cheapest product to listen my voice ndio so how much is that machine the machine would go for between around uh, 30,000 to around 80,000 depending on how it looks like yeah, the local one this one this uh, local SMT. I think that thing 30 30,000 yeah. 30, yeah. yes so it's been made yes like if it was a different one there yeah. mm. the machine go like your own go like your own ah ah no ukienda sasa hivi nikipeleka kwa mzinga anyu kinda washa ah the reason why you washa you na induce some electromagnetic waves eh kwa nyuki because of the shock na nyuki kwa tokanga wanakuja ku sting hapo wanasikia ni kama wako irritated wanakuja ku sting so unaenda una play somewhere una play hapo nje hapo nje tu hata sasa hizi unanikipeleka pale kwa muziki sasa hizi utashangaa sana hata within 30 seconds watakuwa wote wamesimama hapo wana sting wanauma 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 so nothing makes noise no 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 waves waves inaongea lugha yao google how do bees communicate abu uliza how do bees communicate exactly yes so sometimes now this is because of that now that's how and uh, venom now you can harvest but uh, the market is a little bit uh, very tricky but not straight but when you get a very good buyer most people may ni kama gold unajua nani amejifanya biashara ya dhahabu unajua dhahabu ni very expensive lakini huwezi unaweza shinda kuuza dhahabu mmm wewe unayo lakini huwezi eh kwa sababu pia mwenye anataka kununua pia anataka kukona na usipojunga na kuibia eh na usipojunga na kuibia yenyewe so that's why wenye kuchimba wajaitajirika eh mwenye anachimba dhahabu ni ngumu hata diamond mwenye kuchimba dhahabu hasa tajirika yes company called savanna Yes but I would give you a genuine buyer who I know will purchase and uh, but also I'm here to mchunga sometimes eh wengine wanakujanga nani akona glasses unaona ile kitu ya kuweka glasses kale kadogo kuna mama walienda pale Mombasa bwana anaitwa kama Manyuki akavuna hiyo kitu kama imejaa bwana and they were only giving him 2000 shillings a day yes like unajua na furai tutakuja kwako utakupatia 2000 kwa siku utakataa furai and they have it walivuna wakavuna 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 hapo na mizinga almost uh, the project tuko walipa mizinga kama 500 lakini yeye ndiye alikuwa in charge so akikuja kujua akatukenda wake yeye hey, alikuwa analia bwana mwambia ama she lost but that's that is nothing you can do some people so, can't 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 Unajua uzuri ni nini? Hii yeah. venom si atina kwa nyuki. Ni hata ina sting mara moja na kwa sababu sting ijatoka bado ina sting tena na tena na tena. But what it does it weakens colonies. Mm. Kuna para zimekuwa weakened mm. tu kidogo. So they become weak to. I mean they are the growth is minimized. But how many wild colonies do we have? Wild. Wild. Hey, ni mingi. Ni mingi. Ni mingi. You can have a source. <coughs> so we go for the last one, eh? ile ya mwisho inaleta pesa so i want to show you that so the, the, uh, what am i trying to say there is very huge opportunity in big what keeping yes i'm trying to look for i know you know what i mean i was changa macho sasa yake kinawasha macho hii
Uh, wow. Okay. You need to have one You want to see. You go now. So, you go now. You go You go now. 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 Asa na kubuka. Projeli lusema mwanzo kwa kini kwa kwa detail. Nilifunza. Nilifunza sana. Queen Cup. Zile ile ya Queen Cup unatengeneza and then before they mature you come and kill the lava and then you get the watch. Yes, I don't know what time it is. I think we we can take a small we can take a break ama si hata hiyo training ya leo si imetosha. Imetosha. Imetosha but ningependa kuendelea. There's so many information. And uh, if you need a book, you can also get my number. Nico or group, I usually post a few times here and there, not very many times. Uh, next week we have a on twenty eight, we have a training our total. But it acquired a little because Nico and Bia I know some some of us on a Muzinga or Kitajana or Kiwa or Kiwa at a married. Mm. Mm. Muzinga, if you yeah, yeah, Kisasa and Gina or already thirty years old. So if you were to if you are to show the interest, some of, to bring the interest of beekeeping for a I mean, you expose them. They also meet other people. I mean, and you give people the possibilities of the many things that can be around themselves. Isn't it? I mean, eh? the best thing that you can give to your child, even right now. Hello? Mm-hmm. The best thing that you can give to your child right now is exposure. Yeah. Yes. Just make them know many things. They will choose by themselves. This is the best thing for me. But and then they will also know that the world has no limitation. You can even prosper in beekeeping. No, that's it. Yes, so, I mean, uh, the kids can come for Wola uh, Nairobi. We are up for Caribbean Bombers of Kenya. We have our demo farm in Kwapo. We have the kids there. They can be so in a very friendly way. Yes, and then they will be able to be the beekeepers of tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time. And, uh, yes. Yes. Kama unataka ku transfer colonies. Yes. Sienda kwa pia. Unataka ichukue mtu yani leo ku transfer tu. Ikuwa ndio inaspect. Na upate ya kwamba mtu wako hawajeishi mali wanafaa kuishi na nishi ile tu. Mm. Eh Ah, I mean, so I'm sorry, and I'll, I'll repeat a point. Pale ni likuas the Josiah. The answer that question. Ah, eh? ah, uh, uh, and I will be very simple, very, very simple, straightforward, and straightforward, eh? and uh, very simple and straight to the point. When you buy beehives from the bees, uh, beehive sellers, please ensure. That you leave this. What is this? What is this? Super. Super. Ati jumbani. Alafu wega hivi. And I install. And I fanya nini? Install. And I install. Sindio? Yes. Asa hiu jakume jibu suwa limoja ya ako ya. Yuki wa pejenga wapi? Jiu. Jiu. Sindio? Aya. The second question is. You may not be able to know how fast they build here. But we usually say 45 days is enough. One and a half months, come on, you go and Give them one and a half months, or if and you want me to do an installation, you can hang your high school and you would be a catcher box. And you love you, you can be like a happy. I'm both happy that you can see at a happy animal you make a new key up of me. You can have a number, I'm a stance. Sindio, you sort it. I know most of come on, make a beast. There's a way you could manage, but if you mostly, I mean, sorry, mostly it's advisable that. Mostly it's advisable that you ensure that the jars are from Saba. Almost seventy percent the upper chin in Majen. Completely in Majen. You could have a galagani, super, a jewel, a jewel, some bound super. And in that case, now, Utaku may find a cousin. So, Bab, now, the bees have already built up the, the lower part and they are almost ready to start putting up storage for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, in you just come on the right time and that will clear super. And then what a jenga to do. Kama wajajenga, kama wajenga less than seven frames, number five, 
na umetoa mzinga kwa kacha umeleweka kwa hapi hii please just leave the hype there mm. until jenge almost to seven times ama ijaze the chini can't bless your sugar most of us don't want to wait Unajua <laughs> 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 Eh yeah, yeah. 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 uh, yeah. uh, the other thing is kama umeweka mzinga yako na iko na nyuki please you say my inspect after how long for that day send just inspect your bh no nasikia wana inspect every one month every month wanaenda ku inspect unavaa kwenda ku inspect mzinga yako and the good thing unajua pastor alitwambia kitu moja nyuki uki visit mara kwa mara it gets used to you Inakujua na ina get hata use kwa ile kwa kukuja kukua disturb kitu kama hiyo. Lakini ile nyuki bwana imekaa miaka mbili mtu anaenda hapo. Unaona uguze. Tulienda mali kunaitwa Cabernet pale kunaitwa Tenges. Pia Tenges. Eh, my friend, tulikuwa tumeenda ku install mizinga. That was uh, the day before yesterday. Huyo mzee alinunua mizinga na akaweka tu. Kwa mshamba, wajenda kupeka hivi. Niko na video sasa bwana tulipeleka mzinga kufikisha nyuki ili tuanga hata tuko tumeguza mzinga iko kule mzinga sisi tu hapa tuleka hapa tu alikuwa amejaribu kupeka the 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 night before hiyo nyuki bwana iliuma sisi na unajua baya sasa huko ni kwa milima juu ukikimbia unakwama kwa matopo na nyuki anakimbiza hapo what was happening are you doing it what was happening And that also happened to us in another training nilikuwa na Lula. Mimi was telling you. Nilikuwa na training ngini Lula. Na jelo iko ile ni sana kwa kwanza. So, I mean, that that's what I was saying, be a friend of your project ya BK. Inspect for 5 days. Kama ume uja inspect na nyumzinga yako hata labda iko na asali. Then kuna mistake nyingine tunafanya wakulima. We wait for, we were, we wait for too long. Sometimes we wait for too long. Eh uh, before have seen wana kula asali. Eh uh, sababu and that waiting for too long is because you are not inspecting today if he goes and inspects apart eh, kama leo ataenda afanye inspection hello kama leo ataenda afanye inspection apart hii mzinga imejenga kama 9 frames sasa anazivuna leo si ndio ama apart imejenga 6 frames na ija 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 cap ataweza atatoka hapo akiwa information hii inapata kama one month si ndio kama yeah. ni guesswork hii after one month ikikuja itakuwa ni kiko kwa tayari kitu kama hiyo It gives you even as a big tip the right information to even know when even to plan when to harvest. Yes. Come here. Yes. No, it's just a thing that may go for roof then. Yes. Yes. You know sometimes in a invade roof. Yes. Now when I talk about roof things how can get for problem. How how does it work? One thing is eh please is big tip us. You know as I've done a case sometimes. Sometimes it works. Nyuki wako pale kwa roof, unanunua mzinga ama kacha box. Kwa hiyo yasi unakuja unaweka hapo karibu. Tell me who has ever done that and the nyuki waliamia hapo. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes but on very rare occasions. Once in uh, once in, one like once in, one in 100. One in 100. Sikina kataa kabisa, si ndio? Hapo unaitea isa hapo. ngumu sana. Ngumu inafanyika kama like sometimes it works eh. Hata tukilia nyingine huko somewhere ikaingia tu. It was miraculously somehow. So what happens is it, but I know you treated with, with a lot of lemon grass. Yeah. Ulikuwa umeingilia lemon grass nini? Na si wanzo unakuja unaweka baada ya siku wiki moja zijaingia unasafisha tena unaweka. Una shindo umeweka. Sasa the only best solution is eh nuno muzika. There's a machine now skills come in there inaitwa it's locally made like a bee vacuum. So tunaenda tunachukua muzika kama hii na shika pipe kubwa. Unaanza ile vacuum cleaner ya kuosha gari na nyumba unaenda una kuta nyuki wako ukiingia kwa direct ama kwa ndoo kwa bucket alafu ukiingia kwa bucket sasa hana you can go and pour them in a beehive eh kama hiyo we already made the machine wale wako kwa group ndogo i think it will post up eh but we will not use more just because we put up here na nguvu atakufa kabla afike hapo is a way to do it the other thing is go and call someone have the beehive 
what was in the frames what was in the frame kwa hiyo ni atini wakuja was was fix wajeke na rubber band alafu waziweke hapo wachote zile nyuki na wanaweza wake wapi wae hapo nyuki wakiishi kuna wanga na around 60% wakae hapo 40% wanaweza enda but at least you will have fed your best yes Yes, now first thing is a baiting bee have using bee wax. Kuna kitu inaitwa lemon grass. Is it lemon grass oil? In a uso sana. Umeisikia? Lemon grass, but you can also make our own lemon grass oil. Unajua tunakunywaga chai na hiyo lemon grass eh? Unatengeneza chai, unaweka pale ndani, inanukia vizuri, si ndio? Very nice, very nice lemon grass. So if you want to make your own lemon grass, go kata hiyo nyasi. Hello? Enda kata hiyo nyasi. Boda bonda si ndio? Bonda just crush the crush the grass eh? And then we crush eh. Unaweza weka kwa karatasi ya nylon eh. Na uongeza maji kidogo kama just a quarter of a glass eh. Na ufunike na ikawa kwa night. Kesho ukiamka ukifungua karatasi itakuwa na ile harufu, si ndio? Go and brush your bee hive factor kwa bee hive mara moja mara mbili mara tatu that is one unaweza pia kuitumia holy oil kama ile mafuta ambayo ina harufu unaweka the same inakutaga ile harufu inapaka harufu siku hizi kuna kitu kinaitwa bilwa kuna inapaka pia za kuvutia nyuki pia rafiki bilwa rafiki yetu alipaka mzinga 19 akaingia in one like 19 or whatever na uso wa 2000 shillings per piece kadogo hivi ni kama ameika tu pheromone kidogo Eh uh, yes utapata ukitaka sasa hizi pia 2000 shillings per piece inaingia hiyo ni ingia ni guarantee kwa sababu yale yaka muranga nyuki yaka ingia the 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 other the other process ni ile ya kufanyika mzinga juu mko fanya hii tulisema hiyo ni by the mercy of the lord say it say it by faith kwa imani una una pass kwa vile sana by faith do what happened oh by faith the world was what created kitu kama hiyo then kuna ile nyingine ya kutumia cutter box. Unajua cutter box? Hello? Unajua yeah. cutter box? Yeah. Cutter box ni kale kadogo. Cutter box ni kale kama kadogo na nika kaingia nyuki, kwa na frame kama hizi unakuja na exchange frames. I think that's the best word to use. Exchange of frames. Ile zile frames ziko cutter box kwa sababu ziko na nyuki na zimejengwa, unazitoa unazia kwa mzinga alafu zile ziko kwa mzinga unazitoa unazia kwa cutter box and then you can have your bees here by cutting bees all across they are also very functional very good the other thing is something called colony division and please next time when we are having a training we also need to dial us to ask members to write topics that they need to be addressed we we'll learn about colony division in grafting and value addition see those are enough isn't it mm-hmm. colony division inamaanisha uko na mzinga 100 boxes 100 lakini zile ziko na nyuki ni 50. Sasa anaweza aje kujaza mizigo mingine hapo. Unaweza fanya tu ndio kwa colony division. You divide the colonies, you split or split the colonies and gawa kwa nyuki wengine. But is a is a procedure that is used. Sababu lazima ugawie kama tu tunaangalia kuna brood, kuna honey, kuna pollen, ugawie equally. Love ya yeah, chini na juu. Team different yeah, team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ndio uweze kuzigawanisha vizuri but you are going to retard the colonies. Retard means like kama alikuwa anajenga haraka haraka wata wata na slow down kidogo. Na lazima ile colony nyingine unaweza tengenezea pia queen uweke pale. Usikiona? Eh those are colony division. Na you occupy your hives. I mean those are the a few among us very many ways you can colonize your beehives, ndio? Another question, another burning question. I was thinking maybe ukipanda hiyo lemon grass around bees at theories. Inaezaleti ya rufu ni. Kama na hii zinazokuja rax. Sio mingi sana. Eh, kidogo. Can only crash it. Yes, there is a belief that kuna njia ya nyuki na njia nyingine si ya nyuki. Exactly, there is. Ah, kuna kuna places. Sijui kama kuna watu hapa na sina kusumbuliwa na nyuki wa timu ni sawa. Eh, specific unaona kwanza niko na group status hapa. Sasa hapo kwako enda uweke kaza box na uuzie hao. Unaona kaza box kuja weka ikijaa uuzie hao 1300 kama ni. Eh, uza hiyo kuna barabara za nyuki. And there are even like a, there are places that have already been gazetted. These are small places in Ivasha ambao nyuki wanapitaga hata weka mzinga itaingia nyuki leo. Eh. 
Na kuna what we call the swimming season. Swimming season ni ya mwaka. Eh, sasa kama size ilikuwa swimming season ya most places eh. Eh, size ilikuwa swimming season a lot of places. Eh, zina pita size. Yuki sasa unaweka muziki size shika haraka sana. Na they are different to in uh, different regions. Yes. Now, how can I transport bees? Very easy. Ah, good one. How can I transport my bees? Sasa kitu cha kwanza Hello you must take all the precautions eh hiyo kata box yako inafaa kukuwa na ventilation eh na drillia mashimo madogo unaweza net ndani mtu atengeneza bizinga yenyewe ama inakuwa na mashimo madogo ambayo inaruhusu yao ipite lakini nyuki hawezi ipite ndani si ndio lakini unaweza weka msumari kwa drill udunge so in that case nyuki hawezi ipite hapo lakini yao anafanya ni inaingia so unaweza beba nyuki yako for long distance eh and then hiyo kata box yako usiku tu kienda tu smoke shush, smoke hivyo nyuki wakiingia nani fanya nini Zipua. funga si nyuki wako nani funga mm-hmm. ukifunga hakuna mahali mengine nyuki wanaweka chukua box yako weka kwa gari yako boot na mahali very easy i have transported bees from as long as kajiado county unajua kajiado mahali iko mm-hmm. kajiado town mm-hmm. like 4 kilometers kutoka hapo nikakuja kitengela i went all the way to sultan amud nikaenda juu mahali mengine kama 40 kilometers juu kwenda chambe We've transported B Exomoa one of my friend and into engineer Omari kutoka Izinya pale karibu na kwa friends Robert wachoka friends ranch hapo tukapeleka pia Masimba hii aksi Masimba ya huko Sulup ya huko Sultan Mahmud like now do you remember bees behaves you carry with bees there was 70 bees big bees lakini usiku askari wali walikuwa wanataka kutuzuia Kajiria video. Unajua sisi tulikuwa na na nguo ya yusu. Na lazima wakati mwingine kwa sababu ni beehives eh. Baita akatoa kushake shake dogo wengine watoke. Alizuia sisi sasa. But uh, wanafikanga wakiwa very very aggressive. Eh? Yeah. Wanafikanga wakiwa wamekatika because wanawapatia stress. Na kwa sababu ya kushake kata subscribe some comes on katika. Eh. So you can transfer as well. even you can transport bees although we usually love our advice kama ni mahali kama hapa usipeleke sivyo nyuki hapo peleke mbali huko kwa this is a cold place you go huko ndipo tuna huko it's just look at the uh, areas that are more or less the same environment it's a fit sana hizo sindio so another question another question is for example umetaka mzinga wako mahali kuishike nyuki yes and then we're going to transfer it to that there Uh, in that process you transfer you may transfer successfully you may fikisha mm asubuhi kwa mutia unakula zile roots kwa swambu ah that's a that's another question eh? but uh, for a dedicated beekeeper ukiamisha hiyo mzinga yako weke pale unafaa kufungia for for 24 hours hawezi kufa mm. ukifungia for 24 hours alafu ukuje ufungulie Ninyi mkiaga straight eh watarudi wanarudi nyingi wengine and sometimes wakulima wengine ni wajanja sasa wanafanyanga nini wanatoanga na wanaanika kata box hapo sawa 